Hello everybody, so I think it's about time we cracked on with this Keyser build. So as you can see down this end, I've managed to get the uh, trim off of the ends that I mentioned at the end of the last video. It was standing up kind of proud of the edge of the top, which is where this plywood is going to need to be glued down onto. So they had to come off. It was a bit of a pain in the ass because it was basically kind of welded in with the insulating foam, which is through the middle of the lid that you can see there. Uh, so it took a little bit of persuasion, but I just levered it off with a screwdriver in the end and um, it wasn't screwed or bolted in or anything. So we got that off in the end. And next bit is to basically cut this plywood top down a little bit. Um, across here it's pretty much uh, the right length but it's a little bit too long so this is the sort of standard size plywood sheets that you can get from um, DIY shops and timber suppliers I think it's uh, 60 uh, 610 or 607 mil across and then 120 uh, or 1200 even mil over that way so a meter 20 by about 60 ish is um, the size of it i need it cut down to about just over a meter um, on the length and then we can do the edging or skirt on it with this stuff which is the 22 by 47 mil strip wood as you can see the plywood isn't exactly flat but if i get some serious weight on that and then glue it on. Uh, I'm going to pretty much cover the whole top in glue to make sure it's really secure. It should be all right. I tried weighting it down and wetting one side to flatten it out, but I'm not sure if it actually helped that much. It may have even put a couple more bends into it. So yeah, hopefully it will be all right. Again, the quality of the timber wasn't amazing that I sourced, but um, I've got enough uh, sacks of grain and stuff to weigh this down quite nicely and hopefully get it flattened out once it's all glued on it should be fine so let's cut this thing down to size okay so i've cut the top sheet down to give myself basically about 22 or just over 22 mil of clearance on the two sides and at the front here uh, as you can see i've already clamped on the strip wood onto the front here so that i can measure it and cut it off and um, once I've done that I will do the two sides glue and then screw them into place so that's gonna provide a nice rigid frame around the outside of the top and um, then I may glue the top down tonight if I get round to it so good old-fashioned wood glue just going on a bead along the top here and then I will drill through and just reinforce it with a few screws through the top edge and repeat that on the two sides. So no, no need for fancy um, joints on the wood here because it's all going to be covered up by the cladding around the outside edge. So these will just be butted up against each other. And again, just put a couple of screws through on the end to join these side parts onto the bit of the front. So this is the progress this evening. As you can see, we've got the plywood top on there and even now it's starting to look like a rough and ready but usable bar top um, skirting fitted around the sides so as i said that's where i'm going to mount the kind of cladding on and uh, i'm not going to glue the top down to the freezer tonight because I want to give all of this a chance to set properly and I'm going to weigh it down for a day or two just to try and get the plywood to flatten out as much as possible because this has helped to straighten it out a bit but there's still a bit of play at the ends there so I'm going to weigh it down with some grain sacks and uh, hopefully that will level it out a little bit and then when I glue it down, it should set 
nice and flat so yeah pretty pleased with that no major issues one slight misfire with a pilot hole that i drilled too big but other than that it all went pretty smoothly right so i managed to flatten the lid out a little bit by wetting it down and um weighing it with the grain sacks for a little while but it's not completely perfect so i'm just going to uh, basically smother the top in a load of this adhesive and then weigh it down again so that it at least sticks flat on the top so yeah time to get busy gluing Well, if that doesn't stick it, I don't know what will. Right, so quick progress update. I managed to get the plywood top stuck down nice and flat with the glue and um, as you can see we've now got the kind of skirt or the more decorative wood fitted around the edge of that so with mitre joints on there rather than just butted up against each other and that is the wood that I'll be using for the final finish so I will be cutting the bar top edges to go on to that next I've actually done a couple of the pieces over there already and just one more to go and then I'll be fitting them onto the top. I've also had a few bits and pieces arrive, including, if we just look inside the lid, we have got a few more kegs in here. So we can definitely get the six kegs in, as expected, but there's also a fair amount of space there in between, which I think I'm probably gonna be able to squeeze the gas bottle into. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, I mean, I've only got five kegs at the moment anyway, so there's space over there for the gas bottle, but if I do want to put six in, then I think I'm going to be able to squeeze the gas bottle in between the kegs there. It'll be a bit of a tight fit, but that should work and um, mean that I don't have to have the gas on the outside. So, yeah, that's it. Coming along quite well. And, um, yeah, just need to start thinking about getting the top on and then doing some finishing work. Uh, another thing that I had turn up is some of the stain that I'm planning on using. So this is the finish that I'm going for. So this is just a little test piece that I did. It is a rosewood stain. So I'm going to stain all of these pieces here with this colour and the um, bar top edges and then give it a good uh, varnish with some polyurethane varnish to seal it off and finish it uh, yeah so let's get these bar edges finished and fitted right so there's the bar top edging which I've just cut and uh, I'm just dry fitting at the moment all looks okay so I had to do the uh, mitre joints here by hand using the uh, the tenon saw over there because I couldn't fit it into my um, mitre saw there so the the panels here are too wide to go into there, so that was a bit of a pain in the ass, but I think I've managed to cut them quite neatly. And anything that isn't lining up properly, a little bit of filler and sanding should sort that out, but I think that's really starting to uh, give an idea of what the finished product is going to look like, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with that so far. So, yeah, once that is all finished, I can uh, start thinking about getting the tap tower put on the back there i am going to have to get some more plywood just to raise up this um interior kind of inlay area a little bit because it's too deep at the moment so i don't know why this didn't occur to me before but uh these boards are 18 mil so it's a bit too much of a drop off into the middle i want to bring it up as close to uh the level of the boards as possible so yeah, what I'm planning to do with that, I need it to be about 5mm below the edge of the boards. So that will be maybe not perfectly flush, but relatively flush with the top of it. So yeah, going to glue these down tonight and then leave them to set. And I will probably 
be putting some wood stain on them next but uh, I'll leave that till the next video so cheers everyone see you on the next one I'm the dude so that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino.